Hi there and welcome to this Two Minute Tips video and in this video we're going to be looking at autofocus area modes and in particular the area modes that are most related to static or slow moving subjects. So in another video we looked at the focus mode which is really the style of um, autofocus you're using. Is it a single focus capture or is it a continuously changing um, autofocus? In this video we're going to be looking at AF area mode which is really about looking at the pattern of autofocus points on the sensor you're using. And in this first part we're going to be looking at the options that are most relevant to shooting relatively static or slow moving um, subjects. Whereas on Nikon's DSLRs such as the D850 there were 153 autofocus points and they were largely grouped in the center. The Z6 has 273 autofocus points and the Z7 493 autofocus points and they're edge to edge pretty much across the sensor. That's a real opportunity but it is forcing us to think a bit differently in terms of using the different modes that Nikon is providing because they are subtly different from the DSLRs. In this first part we're going to be looking at the patterns that are most relevant to static subjects and those are pinpoint which you can only use with AFS, single point which you can use with either AFS or AFC focusing and dynamic area which, which can only be used with AFC mode. So to switch between the modes you can either program them to be one of the options with your I button or as with the focus modes you can press the function 2 button on the front but instead of using the thumb wheel you can use the front wheel to change between the area modes. So let's start with the pinpoint option. This is aimed at times when you want that real precision focus. Perhaps where you're doing macro, where you've got a very shallow depth of field, where you've got the camera on a tripod to minimize the amount of movement. You'll see that the focus selection box on the LCD or in the EVF is really very small. It's almost focusing on individual autofocus points. It's great for that precision, however moving a focus box that size across the LCD or across the sensor should I say can be very time consuming so it really is only suitable for stationary or static subjects. It's a contrast based autofocus system. For it to work best you've got to make sure that there is some form of contrast or line um, that it can capture the focus on. But if you need that precision focus it's the one to go for. As I say it can only be used with single autofocus AFS so that's something to be considered as well. Whereas Pinpoint has that very precise um, autofocus point selection. Single point has a slightly larger box um, that you can select the focus area within. Um, it's larger than pinpoint but smaller than dynamic area but again it gives you that precision of focus that is a bit more practical for many more situations than the pinpoint focus. But again it's really suitable for static objects things that are possibly very slow moving so you can actually keep them within that relatively small focus area and it can be quite slow to move that selection area across the sensor. But it is larger than pinpoint, it can be used with both AFS and AFC so there is a bit more of an envelope of um, operation for you to use it within. Finally in this video let's look at dynamic area and this can only be used with AFC so continuous autofocus and what you'll see is the focus selector is a single box with eight dots around it and what this signifies is that if you focus your subject within the box in the center and then the subject moves just outside of the box the camera will retain the focus on the subject even though it's gone outside of that central um, focus select area. So it's quite good for 
slowly moving or slightly moving subjects because it means you won't have to keep moving the sensor um, to keep up with the subject and it can be quite practical in a lot of situations so one that's worth considering if you're using AFC. Now don't forget as we said in the focus modes video if you're in AFS then when the camera captures focus the um, focus area selection box will go from red to green. If the camera doesn't capture focus it will flash very slowly. However in AFC you won't see any change. It will just remain static red whether it captures focus or not. In another video we will look at the um, wide area modes both the small and the large and the auto area modes. But I hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I look forward to seeing you on future videos.